Liga could three points, but it was hard work. Yeah, really hard work. I thought, to be fair, that the, the entries we got into their box in the first half, we should have finished them. We didn't test the goalkeeper. I thought that we managed to win really well. And, and I, thought it was a, I thought it was a good performance. I thought we were we reacted well from Tuesday night. As I said, I thought we dropped our standards on Tuesday. But we come back and we we worked hard today. And that's all I offer them. I thought um, Christian's experience in midfield was really beneficial for us. But we must have got him behind them probably 10 times in the first half without testing their keeper, without a good delivery and without finishing them off. And I said to them at half time, we've been here too many times and if, we, if we're not careful, they've got a chance in them and it nearly happened. But thankfully for us, we come back and, and won the game, which I thought we deserved. So we go ahead and, and Joe scored again. We're looking comfortable. A few minutes left, they've only gone an equal. You're never comfortable 1-0, you, you never are, and, and we, I said it to Cam, look, when they scored, I said, we've been in this situation like them where we've not been great and the better team are winning, but you always know you've got a chance in there, and they had their chance and they slotted it away, and I, I feared for us a little bit, and I'm so pleased with the reaction we got, and, and what a fantastic finish for Joe, I thought he was going to hit it earlier than he did, he's taken a touch and, and a great finish, and, and deserved, and um, I thought the boys deserved that for their reaction from, from Tuesday, it's been a tough week, I said we didn't deserve to lose last week at Tiverton, but the boys come back well and I'm, I'm really pleased for them today. And you brought a new forward in, a forward that has come back to the club, Ricardo German. Talk to me about, to me about that. Yeah, listen, I, I tried to get Ricky in early, uh, what, late August, early September because we'd lost Joe. Um, he's someone I really like, I remember watching him for, for Jimmy under him and He's had a tough couple of years probably and, and he needs a bit of love and he needs an arm around him and there's going to be highs and lows with him but I think you've seen what he gives you when he comes on the pitch, you know what he's about, he's a goal scorer, he just wants to score goals, he don't really want to do much more than that. I'm happy with that, I've got other people that will take that away from him in, in Joe and Brooksy and Erin and, and I think the four of them could be a, a serious problem. and. Um, it just gives us another option and, and I like what he done when he come on, I thought he held people off, he, he looked after the ball, won a couple of really important headers for us and um, now I'm excited to have him and, and he's got to understand now that he's had a tough couple of years and he's got to work really hard to get back to where he wants to get to and he can do that without a shadow of a doubt and I think he'll get goals here for us, chances here for us and um, I, I'm really pleased to welcome him and it takes some pressure off Brooks and Joe, you know, and, and I said Joe scored two today, but if Joe and Brooksy don't score, who else, who else does? And, and that's why I wanted to bring it in. I don't think we've really replaced Kyan, um, and I feel like we've got that replacement now. So I'm delighted to get him into the club. I think it's a great move for him. He wanted to come home, he made, he made um, contact with me, and he feels like he wants to play football here. That's good enough for me, and I'm really happy to have him. So it's good to have him back, and we're on the road, though. A couple of away games coming up, we're, and it's a long trip on Tuesday, isn't it, to Bristol? To get the players who are all working to, on a bus, what time are you leaving here? I think we're, we're 2.30, me, for kind of quarter three, three o'clock leave, and, and that's non-league football. I love it, you know, that's what we do it for. It's going to be hard for the boys. A, a really tough game against well-drilled, um, the eight side have, have done fantastic this year. I uh, don't know too much about them. I need to do my homework over the next couple of days. I'll enjoy tonight and start tomorrow looking at them. And um, we'll go there and, and give it a good go. We've got some really hard games coming up now. That's why I felt today was so important to get a win because you know there's, there's, I, I felt like we were we were probably in second, third gear today. There's more gears to go, but to get a win and grind that out like that, I was pleased. But we've got some tough games, you know, Yay Tuesday, Met on Saturday, I think Taunton the week after, then Dulwich, and then Salisbury. So, you know, we've got a lot coming up. So it's really important that we um, get right for Tuesday, see, assess everyone, see where everyone is, everyone can make it, and then we'll go there and give it a good go. But to get that today is just taking a little bit of pressure off the boys, and because um, we put it on a mean cam, to be fair, and they've responded really well, and I'm pleased. Cheers. Cuba, good win, and a win we really needed. Oh, most definitely, especially after two losses on the bounce. I think for us to go out there and win 2-1 and for it to go 1-1 and us to go back to a great character from the boys today. You've had a kind of bit of an up and down season because you, you started well and we got injured and, and injuries. It's taken a big chunk out for you. Yeah, it has. It's, um, I don't know if I can name, write a list and name more. I think every part of my body has been done, but today I went down with my knee, but got back up and to be honest I'm just happy that we got three points. So you finished the game as captain. We've been very inconsistent this season, haven't we? Why do you think that is? 
I think with the injuries this we lose everyone, we've lost LP, we've lost Tommy Brewer, Forbesy and many others. I think if we can keep everyone fit, we would never be where we are in the league. And Joe barely stopped scoring, bless him. I, I'll be honest with that, Joe, I don't know what we would do. He, he does so much for the boys on and off the ball, holds it up, brings it down, fights with defenders constantly. All credit to him. So you've got a long trip on there, you to New South End. Yeah. And you've got a trip to Yate on Tuesday. So it's not only going from here to, to Bristol. Yeah. You've got to get from South End to here. And then talk me through your day on Tuesday. What kind of time are you going to get home? I'm still trying to get that off. So I'm trying to work work magic with the school I work at to try and get it off. But if it is, then I'd have to leave work around 12 o'clock to meet the coach. And then I'll say I'll probably get home around 2.30 in the morning, 3 o'clock. It, it's tough going. I'm not sure we all appreciate it. What it's really like being a non-league footballer at our level. Yeah, it is. It is very hard. You have to make sacrifices, and I'm enjoying my football again, and that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. And hopefully, I can get Tuesday off to, to play. I, I always want to play now.